We are here in the Fight Camp laundry room and today we're going to talk about cleaning your hand wraps. Now we've gotten a ton of questions on how to clean and wash and maintain your wraps and I've been wrapping my hands for 10 years so I've got some answers for you today. Now I can't stress it enough, it's so, so, so important to keep your hand wraps clean and disinfected. It's going to make your gloves last a lot longer. Nobody wants to hang out with the stinky, smelly glove guy or gal. I personally wash my wraps every single time. So if you wanna be like me, then you're gonna wanna invest in a couple pairs of hand wraps. Here's the step by step process that I use to wash my wraps. Step one. Now, you don't want your wraps to stay all wet and gross, so if you can't wash them right away, make sure that you lay them out to dry. Step two, make sure that you have some sort of a garment bag, like this one or this one. There's a bunch of various different types. They're usually four to nine dollars. You could probably find them on Target or Amazon but you're going to wanna to wash your wraps in one of these so that they don't get all tangled and mixed in with all the rest of your laundry or just around each other because I cannot tell you how many hours of my life I have personally devoted to untangling hand wraps. Oh my God. Ugh. Step three, make sure that your laundry bag is zipped nice and tight and go ahead and throw it in the wash. Extra tip, to try and help battle and eliminate that stinky odor, pour a little bit of some vinegar in it. Step four, take your clean wraps and you're gonna wanna dry them, but you have options here. I choose to air dry mine. I think that it's just easier to get them untangled, but if you don't have the time or you don't wanna air dry them, go ahead and throw them in your dryer. Just tumble dry them on low. Step five, now that your wraps are clean and dry, let's roll them up so that they don't get tangled. You're gonna wanna make sure to roll them with the bottom side in so that the Velcro is on top. I start from this end but some people prefer to roll them from the other way so that the thumb loop is out and it's a little easier to wrap them. When you're rolling your wraps, you wanna make sure to smooth out all the wrinkles so that they're nice and flat. Lastly, follow all the same steps for quick wraps. It's just even easier because you're gonna save a lot of minutes of your life wrapping them up at the end. Of course, over time, just like anything that you use a whole bunch, it's going to start to show signs of wear and tear. So maybe the Velcro is going to start to wear off. Maybe they're a little stinky beyond repair. My vinegar trick didn't work, but don't worry. That's not a big deal. Wraps are replaceable and congratulations. That just means you've been boxing a lot and you're a beast. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and write them in the comments below. Make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button. And if you need to get some new wraps, go ahead and check out the Fight Camp Accessories Store. I will see you in the next video. Mwah! <laughs>